Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays. What else? Of course it's the Binding of Isaac. We are going to random Drake of Vanilla Run, and we have random the randomer. You can't bullshit a bullshitter. Sometimes you can, you know, randomly roll a re-roller, if that makes any sense at all. We're we playing as Isaac. You know, if we're going to talk in non-flavorful, completely, actually, practical, pragmatic terms, we're going to be playing as Isaac here. And we have found Common Cold right off the bat, which, to be quite honest with you, gives me a good feeling for how this run is going to work out for us. It's not necessarily the most amazing item in the game, uh, but I'm who am I to re-roll A, a deal with the devil item, and B, an item that gives us extra damage, including damage over time, which I like a lot. It's just the definition of not looking a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, Common Cold is one of those items when I see it, I'm always like, I'm probably not going to pay one heart to get it, but I wish I was. In this situation, uh, we don't really have to worry about it so much. So I'll definitely go to the curse room as well. We've been having some up and down Isaac runs. Mostly down, but occasionally way up. As Kanye West asked, can it get much higher? Well, yes, in this situation, it actually could get, you know, substantially higher. I'm not sure if he was talking about, you know, aeronautics or drugs or maybe the Binding of Isaac. But if he was talking about the Binding of Isaac, then the answer to your question, good sir, is yes, yes, indeed. It can get much higher. So let's see if we can uh, stitch together a run that uh, anyone could be proud of here. You, me, your grandparents, happy graduation, son. We got you the D6 for your birthday. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I've been recording a lot of Spelunky today, so my commentary is like, it's in the Spelunky mode. It's a very, you know, minute change to go from Spelunky to Isaac for me. Uh, but it's a change nonetheless. Uh, I am going to, first off, see what we get here. Reroll the range upgrade, pick up a coin purse. Well, that was an interesting situation. Let's see if this works out for us. Tears down, probably not what I was looking forward to. Speed down, uh, that's also pretty bad, and bombs are key. Alright, I would say that was uh, absolutely terrible. I wish I'd just gone for the range upgrade now. Uh, but we do have our curse room remaining, and we'll see what we've got in there. It is a red chest containing two spirit hearts, which makes me feel slightly better about the whole situation, but not really that much better about the whole situation. So, uh, that was one of the worst coin purses I think we've ever had, and now I, um, you know, the tears, it's, it's a problem, but we're still gonna do decent amounts of damage for now, mostly as a result of the compensation we get from, uh, common coal. I almost said lump of coal, which isn't right, but, um, you know, a speed upgrade at some point is gonna be a goddamn necessity. For example, how are we gonna fight lust like this? How are we gonna fight war's, uh, war's second phase like this? We've got ourselves in an interesting situation here. Uh, that is a little risky. Necronomicon. You know, it's an alright book item, uh, but I am instead uh, going to focus on rerolling that as soon as possible. And uh, right now, you know it would be perfect? A speed plus range or a speed plus tiers uh, improver. That was uh, like the worst coin purse you could possibly imagine. I would rather get a bad trip and lose a heart. I don't know if I'd rather get a health down, but that, it's a tighter call in that situation. But I would much rather get a bad trip and lose a heart uh, than get a permanent attribute decrease. But, uh, you know, you win some, you lose some, we won some on that floor, and we, uh, definitely lost some on that floor as well. Hey, we found the secret room by accident, that is, uh, a positive. I'm just thinking about this for a second, I'm like, which do I re-roll? I think I re-roll the unicorn horn once, and see what we get. And it's the shovel. Cause you can only get- Wait, what do we have in the, the item room again? It's a Necronomicon, okay, I'm just, I'm just trying to plan accordingly here. Um, you can only get- secret room items when you re-roll the secret room, right? So we could find ourselves with an epic fetus, a fetus in a jar, a one-up, an onk, etc, etc. Uh, but are these the items we really necessarily want? Not necessarily. Maybe we'd rather just get something from the, um, uh, from the item room re-rolled, or we'd rather get something from the shop re-rolled, or a deal with the devil re-rolled. At, at the very least, I've got to make something happen on this floor. I've got to pick up some kind of bonus. And we're out of re-rolls now, so maybe I've kind of screwed myself to a certain extent. I don't really want the Necronomicon. Let, let's, let's talk about what we're going to do here. I've got one key remaining, and I'm, I'm planning on throwing kind of a Hail Mary here. Oh, not going to be able to get out of the... Oh, barely able to get out of the way of that. Um, I am going to use my last remaining key to open up this golden chest, which has given us a damage increase, which I'm very pleased with. Then we're going to go fight our boss, and we're not going to have any rerolls. We might get a deal with the devil. Uh, if that deal with the devil could have Krampus. In that case, we would actually get one reroll and, you know, use it wisely. Could use our Necronomicon for one of these fights, but I don't want to have to uh, concern myself with backtracking. So, getting Steven is a, a huge increase for us. At least it gives us the potential. Uh, don't catch me. Don't catch me! He caught me. 
At least it gives us the potential for some good stuff to happen here. That was really bad damage for me to take. Getting that HP upgrade, plus uh, I believe that conveys a damage upgrade is excellent as well. There's not much else we can do here, to be honest with you. I don't want to take the shovel. I don't want to take Necronomicon. I'd rather hold on to the D6. Bizsnap has told me that a, a, a strategy that has paid out very nicely for him in the Binding of Isaac is never getting rid of the D6 unless essentially you're getting one of the best space bar items in the game. Which is something that I thought I knew. But maybe I didn't. So I was just abusing the uh, green nub there to give us this chest for free. And uh, it'll occasionally give us spectral tears by way of the push pin. Not the greatest item. We desperately need some keys. I did spend a key to open a golden chest on the last floor. Uh, kind of a, again, a, a Hail Mary to continue using a, a sport analogy for a sport that I barely understand. Whoa, there's a key for us. Oh, don't get hit by that. Excellent. Um... Yeah, but it was one of those rare situations where that Hail Mary actually came through for us. You know, that's the definition of a Hail Mary most of the time. It's a low probability that it's going to work out, but if it works out, then it's a, a major, major play, obviously. As the opportunity to atone for earlier mistakes, that was a really bad dodge on my part. One more, or two more, or four more hits should kill him. Uh, I was really hoping we get another HP upgrade there. We really need a speed upgrade. That is... Tears upgrade be damned, we've already gotten a couple damage upgrades, plus uh, the common cold, which will never be taken away from us. Uh, but I desperately need a speed upgrade, or I'm going to... You know, my dodging suffers a little bit, because uh, I'm not used to dodging at this specific rate. But more than that, um, we're just going to try to kill these spiders without actually angering the neutral flies. Is that the best idea? We'll see, I guess, won't we? Alright, it actually worked out quite well for us. We'll probably have to backtrack through there anyway, but... Um, yeah, we need a speed increase because my equilibrium's for equilibrium for dodging is all effed up. Uh, and, you know, there are some enemies that are going to be basically impossible to avoid unless I get a speed upgrade. Lust, chief among them. Uh, the Fallen would be a huge pain in the ass. Mask of Infamy, obviously uh, already an asshole, but would, would only get worse if we were in that situation. Um... And you know, of course, damage increases are, are beautiful as well. Uh, something that might compensate for not getting a speed upgrade would be a flying... Are, are you serious? Like, can you just come up here, please? Thank you. Uh, a flying item would compensate for it to a certain extent. What do we have in here? I'll take Rainbow Baby. I'm not super excited about it. I wanted to re-roll it, but I don't know how many more opportunities we'll get for re-rolls on this floor. So, to charge our D6, I should say. We've already gone through at least two-thirds of the floor, if I had to guess. Um... Alright, so just be cool here. Should be able to... Oh, okay, I botched it a little bit. Should be able to get through here without taking damage, though, as we just did. Uh, Rainbow Baby's a passive. It'll occasionally slow enemies. It does a little bit more damage, so it's not a, a bad item at all. I like uh, Rainbow Baby a great deal, uh, but it's not the best item. It's not the item we need right now. I would rather have, for example, just a belt versus Rainbow Baby. There's not many situations where... Uh, you know, that is, uh, my preference. I would usually rather have the familiar, especially when it gives you the chance to, uh, fare much better against some of the harder enemies in the game. But, uh, in this situation, that's, that's where I feel right now. So we probably would have had one more reroll opportunity. Uh, this is a shitty room for us. There's always a pretty substantial probability that we could hurt ourselves here. Or get hurt, not hurt ourselves, I suppose. Uh, but we found the secret room by accident again. And that's gonna give us exactly enough money to make the shop worthwhile. Uh, with a reroll remaining. And that's very interesting. So we're probably going to walk into the shop, but we're not going to re-roll it yet. We'll, we'll handle this re-roll after we fight the boss and determine whether there's a deal with the devil, etc, etc. Uh, our shop contains the Nun's Habit, which I'm just going to buy. That solves that problem pretty uh, handily. Uh, it's going to give us more re-rolls, and if we ever have the opportunity to um, pick up a spacebar item that benefits from having the Nun's Habit, i.e. basically anything but uh, Tammy's head or the blue candle, then uh, sure, it, it's a good pickup. Okay, little gish... Uh, by way of Rainbow Baby actually caused me to get hurt a little bit there. Uh, but it was my own bad. If I had paid attention, then it would have been uh, a non-issue. Anyway, we're doing fine against Peep. Uh, it's not going to be the easiest fight in the world, but it shouldn't be altogether uh, too difficult either. I can't fly, so I do have to watch out for the creep. Other part from that, just dodge the eye and dodge the shots, and we're good to go. Okay, so I'm probably just going to snag that HP upgrade. I can't really see myself re-rolling it. This is a wild situation, because if we take the nail, we'll... We can't lose health if we take the nail, but I also don't really want to. The nail hasn't been as good to me recently as I would like it to be. So we're just gonna reroll, and instead... Sure, okay, here's the thing. We're gonna take the pact, which people are gonna be pissed off. You took the pact and not the nail? First off, it gives us the spirit hearts. I knew that there was an HP upgrade out here. Recall that we got a tears down earlier, so this is gonna compensate for that, give us a little bit of extra damage. We still need speed, there's no question about that, but, uh... You know, I, I'm hewing towards building a, um... A run here, which is a little bit better, 
uh, from a damage standpoint than, or base damage standpoint than runs that we've had recently. So obviously, you know, there's a specific subset of items that are uh, quite clearly in my line of sight for this. But, uh, you know, items like the Pact also, you know, they, they carry a cost to them, but a benefit as well. The Nail would have put us in an interesting position, but to be quite honest with you, it's almost like at, at a certain point, I kind of feel like I've, I've used the Nail enough. I would rather just uh, take perhaps a more interesting or at least a better spacebar item, one of the two. Well, we have a reroll pedestal available. We might as well start rerolling. Uh, the Razor Blade, I don't necessarily consider uh, all that valuable because we're unlikely to get permanent Polaroid invincibility. I just kind of want to do some crowd control on these guys, and uh, we'll, we'll take care of the turret in just a second here. So he'll pop up, and uh, then he will die. And we could get Child's Heart, but it's not that worthwhile. Now, uh, you know, it's always nice to have a platform for rerolls in a situation like this where we don't have any keys, because there's a chance that, um, you know, that might be the only item we get a chance to reroll. So if we can pick up something as a result of that, at least not having any keys hasn't damned us. The Sun card, uh, one that I will try to hold on to as long as possible, but there are certain situations where it will be beneficial. Uh, can immediately find the secret room or the boss room for us, depending on what your priorities are. Let's go back and re-roll this. Again, uh, if it's not a speed upgrade, I will... Or if it is a speed upgrade, I won't re-roll it, uh, and we'll take anything else as it comes. Yeah, I'll take that. Speed plus damage. That is probably the ideal speed upgrade, to be uh, honest with you. So we're going to be doing a, a little bit more base damage. We've been stacking up a lot of base damage so far. Uh, now we need to get some keys so we can actually make use of our uh, increased reroll potential on an item room or a shop. I guess we need increased money if we want to go to the shop as well. But so far, uh, interesting pickups. Good rate of fire, despite that tears down pill earlier. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy with where we're at with the respect to almost everything. Speed is now back at uh, nearly base value or base value. You know, it's hard to compare that without them being exactly temporally right next to one another. Let's see what we've got in our boss room. It's going to be Gertie, which is, to be quite honest with you, probably an ideal fight. This is the Gertie that does not shoot. It only spawns enemies. And considering I kill flies in one hit and I do damage over time by virtue of the common cold, I think this is going to be an exceptionally easy boss fight. Now, obviously, we're looking for something like a, um, a mom's knife from this deal with the devil room, or a spirit of the night. Also, an HP upgrade would be fantastic from Gertie, just to make sure that we didn't die as a result of that. Uh, but we'll see. So far, so good. So Gertie is dead. We do not get a deal with the devil, but we get a cat of nine tails. There's never been an easier decision than re-rolling that cat of nine tails. I will snag the HP upgrade instead, and we'll continue moving on. You know, with Caves Part 2, we got a lot of uh, meat left to grind on this floor. Hopefully, we will be able to pick up a key, go to our item room, and, you know, the shop is maybe a, a pipe dream on top of that. But for now, I'm, I'm very, very pleased with where we are, especially from a, uh, a killing standpoint. Could always be better, but nonetheless, it's good. Now, with six cents, uh, is there a reasonable chance that the arcade could be over on this right side? I think it's a possibility. I don't necessarily think it's uh, an enormous possibility, but we'll see. Uh, it's unlikely we could use our sun card to do something tricky, like, um you know, find the secret room and it's right next to the item room and then bomb our way into it, simply because it doesn't look like the secret room could very likely be next to our, uh, our item room. Just based on the, the kind of placement, which is unfortunate, it's always nice when it happens. Hopefully we snag a key at the end of this, but I doubt it, and uh, then it'll be our time to go, I guess. But free nickel at the very least, unless I lose a spirit heart to get it. Ah, Sixth Sense, actually. My favorite Haley Joel Osment film. Who's, well, I guess it's either that or pay it forward, isn't it? Um, and you know what? Actually, the secret room could be here, now that the curse room's here. It's not, but it was worth a try anyway. And I will look for the secret room because we have this reroll available. You never know if maybe we can get something good happening there. That's not it either. Uh, and you know, there's two other possible locations that look fairly likely. I'm not gonna go to the curse room because I don't want to lose my spirit hearts. Okay, that is it, finally. And, uh, yeah, Dad's Key, which we will reroll. Okay, here's the deal. As much as I would love to get uh, Fetus in a Jar or Epic Fetus, we did just get this on the, on the last episode, so like the nail, I'm going to issue that. And uh, it, it would basically, in all likelihood, it would be a free victory. So in the interest of keeping things a little bit more varied and interesting, I'm going to move on. Not just because, you know, I worry about the kind of vitriol that would show up in the comments if I actually picked it up, uh, but mostly because, you know, it's a little bit boring if you get uh, Epic Fetus, Fetus in a Jar too often. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I like the run that we're having right now. I'm having fun killing these enemies in a, uh, a different way than just, you know, pressing one arrow key, and that's the end of it. Gotta make sure you have a little fun with it, otherwise, what's the point? To paraphrase Jim Carrey from the Kick-Ass 2 trailer. In any case, uh, this is a floor that is a, a linchpin of our run, and I say that 
in the context that we desperately need keys. You know, remember the TV show Desperately Seeking Susan? Uh, the comments respond with a collective shrug, and I say, yeah, but this time we're Desperately Seeking Keys. I don't remember what Desperately Seeking Susan was about. I think it was a bit above my uh, demographic when it originally came on. Because I was like six, but anyway. Uh, we're looking for keys because we need to go to shop both item rooms. That's that's our goal for this floor. We're going to be fighting both bosses. We have one remaining shop. And, you know, with the nun's habit, I would love to... Ah, I was going to say I would love to pick up a Book of Revelations or something, but I really wouldn't. A Book of Belial might be interesting. I don't know. We, we With the nun's habit, it feels like such a, a cop-out to just go for the same spacebar items over and over. Um, this room is done. And I should probably seek out the terminals as soon as possible. We will use a bomb to access this chest, just on the off chance that it has a key contained within. I'd love to get the 15 cents. That would be a little peace of mind. Well, we got a spirit heart for the cost of a bomb, which is a, a value proposition, which we also have on an earlier room. But anyway, I digress. Even if we don't get a chance to reroll all the uh, item rooms and shops uh, with, uh, like, immaculate effectiveness. Let's see what this pill is. It's teleported us to the Monstro fight, which is weird, but also weirdly great. <laughs> so, in, in fighting Monstro right away, we will have a lot of reroll potential, which is fantastic. It's really good. I like it a lot. Um, unfortunately, we need to get him to jump out of this a little bit. Um, don't we? No, maybe we can just keep doing this. Um... Unfortunately, we can't just go fight mom straight away, so I'm very lucky that the, the pill didn't teleport me directly to the mom fight. That would have been, uh, you know, borderline disaster. I mean, at the very least, it would have uh, hamstrung me a little bit on the rest of this floor, because it obviously would have made it impossible for me to uh, pick up any keys and go to item rooms or shops. So, um, I'm glad that we didn't get teleported to that boss room. I am definitely going to reroll the tears upgrade, take an HP upgrade instead. I think that's more important. Tears upgrade is nothing to sneeze at, and, um, you know, I, I felt... I, I went through a decision-making process. It wasn't just an automatic reroll. I was like, we're doing a lot of damage. It might be nice to have an increased rate of fire. Um, but I decided uh, to stick with my gut, and uh, we'll see if this pans out for us. We still need keys, obviously. There's our shop, so there's, uh, you know, one uh, less question that needs to be answered, I guess. Still eagerly awaiting a key drop at any point, please, if there is a benevolent force in the universe. Are you there, God? It's me, Northern Lion. I could desperately use an imaginary item in a video game. Hey, there's a key. And you know, we're here. We might as well uh, try this out. It's greed. I had a feeling this might happen. It's not so bad. We could still get a reroll platform if he drops uh, the Steam Sale, which he didn't. And I was going to say he could still drop a key as well, which he didn't. Uh, but at least we know. At least we tried. So now we'll be hoping for more keys, and we can't just go fight the boss right away, because then we can't leave. It's Mom. Even if we don't get to go to the item room or the shop, I'm reasonably happy with where we're at. Uh, that is another telepills, which I, I can't take. I just I just can't do it, basically. Um, it, it, it's too risky. So we're making a ton of money here. Obviously, my hope is that we will get the um, eternal hearts. Sorry, not the eternal heart. The, the blood bag. Uh, if not, hopefully there's enough red hearts to replenish myself. This is a little scary. Okay, well, fuck you too. Uh, I could take the pill into the curse room and then teleport out. Oh, good, there's another blood bank. Uh, actually, on the arcade, I could spend this money and try to get some red hearts back, but I hate doing that. It's laborious. Kills my interest in, in the run. More money, which we'll inevitably pick up on the way back. We don't have any keys with which to open that golden chest, and now we're really up against it. Here's the thing. Um, we'll, we'll clear out the rest of the floor, and then I'll go to the arcade. I have to at least try to earn some keys. If I don't, then I'm just an idiot, because I, I'm v drastically going to lower my chances of winning the run just out of some, like, biased notion of convenience, which is a bad idea. I, I should try as hard as I can, uh, at, at the very least, to see if I can... Uh, at least go to the shops. We're already at a point where I can't re-roll them anyway. Um, in all likelihood, at least. I could re-roll one of them, and that's it. But, uh, uh, yeah, so, you know, we'll see. If we get some keys, beautiful. That saves me a lot of time. If we don't get any keys, well, there's one. If we don't get any keys, so be it. Well, um, at least we tried. I would much rather not spend, uh, you know, 50 cents entirely on the shop. Cause that, or, sorry, on the arcade, because that's going to take 100 years to do. Uh, with the amount of bombs we have, I will probably at this point go back and pick up that... Ooh, that was close. Go back and pick up that uh, spirit heart for a bomb that I left earlier because I wasn't sure what my bomb situation was going to be like. Oh, that's really bad damage. Let's try not to die during this process. This is an easy room. And we only need one more key to make it work. Please work with me here, game. It's a big floor, obviously, but... Uh, okay, now I'm concerned. Should probably go get some health. 
Because uh, one more hit from a champion could kill me. But I also like to live dangerously. This is uh, a room where I could take some damage, but will aspire not to. There's uh, all dead but one. There we go. Hey, it's a tick. Uh, I, I, I like the effect of the tick, especially when I'm low on health. What I do not like is the uh, disastrous implications that it has for ruining the run. I mean, by making it impossible to go to the cathedral, obviously. Or, sorry, making it impossible to go to the uh, chest. So, uh, we'll avoid the tick, and we are almost done with this floor, because we, we've got to be almost done with this floor. This is a scary, scary, scary floor uh, for me. Scary room, I should say. Um, can't believe I've avoided taking damage so far. Please stop leaping. I can't believe I didn't take any damage, but I'm very surprised I didn't take two hits and die. All right, there's a judgment. Obviously, I want to play that judgment as well. We've got to be coming across our item room soon. Okay, first things first. That is going to be an interesting chain reaction. That was a little scary. There's our key. Okay, good, good, good. We still might go to the arcade to just see if we can uh, get some health back before this boss fight. And there's another key, so that's a golden chest we could potentially open. And, like, drop some red hearts now. This is the one time in the entire course of the game I think I've ever asked for red hearts. You know what? We can actually get a ton of rerolls by using or by abusing the blood bank if we find ourselves in the position where that might be possible. There's got to be two item rooms over here, right? Like, there's no other possible location for them. We've explored uh, the entirety of the floor. Please be uh, spirit heart, small rock. Best combination here. Two spirit hearts. Also, not going to complain about because that might keep us alive. There we go. Uh, and you know what? This is a uh, bomb use territory, in my opinion. If we can clear out one or two zombies, that makes our life a lot easier. Otherwise, I'm just going to try to keep them perpetually poisoned by way of the common cold, which will uh, take care of them and uh, not require us to dodge in some slightly dubious ways, at least given my skill level. Good, and more keys. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Get it. That's yum heart. We'll uh, definitely pick that up and then put it back down. And that blood... Oh my god, I was just thinking here. Yumheart actually allows us to play... I don't like the game, kid. I'm going to go on record as saying that. But Yumheart allows us to play the blood bank infinitely. So I'm going to take a second here to abuse all of my available advantages. Then we'll come back and get the D6. Never you fear. But in the meantime, you know, playing Yumheart... Or, sorry, playing a blood bank takes half a spirit heart. And it charges half a spirit heart as well. You know what? I'm going to open this up as well. More money. That's not useful. Um, so let's find our blood bank. We've got a lot to do on this floor before we fight Mom, and I'm very excited about that, I've got to admit. This could take us a while, or it could take us no time at all. We'll see. Uh, at the very least, Nun's Habit. Oh, if only we had the, the D20 at the same time, but uh, this is going to give us some good stuff here. Tons of dimes are dropping on this run. I don't know what's up with that, but that's okay. Uh, so we're going to stack up. You know, inevitably one of these is going to drop an IV bag. That's fine. That means the rest of them have to drop blood bags, I think. And we could stay here for a hundred years. There we go. There's our first blood bag. Now, uh, we'll go to the arcade. Now, this is where all of my anxieties about health should erode. We should be able to pick up two to three HP upgrades. Uh, they also convey speed upgrades. And then, you know, maybe I keep one blood bank left alive just so I can have unlimited rerolls. It's not necessarily the worst idea, I think. So I'm going to use my last key here. See what we get. Uh, Tammy's head. That's a rerollable item for sure. Uh, and we'll just come down here and we'll do exactly the same. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that paid out. Now what we're going to do is, uh, if only I could get like a temperance card so I didn't have to walk back here all the time. Uh, but we're essentially going to do some breaking of Isaac shit. So, um, it doesn't necessarily give me unlimited rerolls, but it gives me a lot of rerolls. We'll also play Judgment because we want to get that taken care of. Um, I don't, okay, well, let's play Judgment right now, actually. Because we got to figure out what, what, what we want to reroll here. Uh, and after Judgment pays out, I'll check out this mob trap room. It's possible we could spend another 10 minutes on this floor, in all honesty. And that might scare you or make you feel uh, like a happy man. But uh, suffice it to say, Nun's Habit has already paid for itself. Oh, it's Dead Sea Scrolls, so, well, you know what that means. We will absolutely be rerolling that. Um, might as well see if it's just Book of Revelations first. It's Book of Sin, which gave us a spirit art. All right, everything's coming up Millhouse here. We're going to say, you know, not right now to that um, uh, mob trap room. But we will uh, start re-rolling like crazy. This could take us a while. So here's our D6. We'll re-roll... Right, we're not going to re-roll Yum Hard yet because we might need that to get a little extra health back. We'll re-roll this. Harlequin Baby. There. One re-roll sorted. We still have uh, several to go. 
Now we walk back to our arcade. Prepare for this to be laborious. For all of you who have, are always asking, Northern Lion, why don't you gamble more? You should gamble more. Uh, this is uh, your time to shine, I suppose. We're going to hopefully pick up a lot of really good items as a result of this. If only I could save up like eight rerolls at once, I would love it. If you're confused about what's going on right now, I'm going to abuse Nun's Habit plus D6 uh, just to start rerolling. Uh, Sorry, the, the other blood banks over here. Just to start re-rolling uh, with Reckless Abandon some of these items. So that pill, we know what that pill is. It's teleport. Uh, hopefully this doesn't blow up into a blood bag anytime soon. We're going to focus on the item that's close to us just for my fucking sanity. Uh, obviously Tammy's head, not the greatest. The bean, also not the greatest. Uh, as much as I would like to be able to do poison damage on each floor, it's not that important. And, uh, worst case scenario, we can go back to Yumheart and play this until it pays out, uh, for us. But for now, I think this is the smartest decision, and it could pan out very, very nicely for us. We've already gotten two HP upgrades. Uh, PhD. Not quite good enough, I think. Although it would make all pills good. Uh, PhD is okay, but I would rather have something else. That's, that's basically what it comes down to here. And I have the luxury to, to get something else pretty easily, so there's 99 cents for us. And uh, we will obviously come through here and re-roll this one again. And that is Quad Shot. That's what we'll take. <laughs> so now that we have Quad Shot, that's fantastic. That's a huge damage bonus. And I feel good about re-rolling uh, the uh, PhD now. So that money is not really important for us at all, I suppose. And if we had the Polaroid, we could do even more st fun stuff with this Blood Bank. But um, as of right now... Feeling pretty nice. This is the definition of kind of min-maxing at this point, I suppose. And we'll go reroll um, Dead Sea Scrolls because it's closest, really. That's that's my reasoning. Uh, it is uh, sure. We'll take the speed upgrade and the shot speed increase just because. And uh, then we'll get some more rerolls, and we'll come back here. And uh, we're we're almost too fast now, to be honest with you. Uh, now we've got to do the last reroll combination, which is going to be. Uh, the Game Kid, which to be quite honest with you, is not a terrible item to have when you have Nuns Habit in combination, but uh, I'm also really digging the way that this has turned out for us so far. So, um, more money that is useless, and we'll make our way back up here. We can't do this too much, I don't necessarily want to be running entirely on, um, Red Hearts. I, I don't want, sorry, I don't want to be running almost entirely on Spirit Hearts when we come up here, necessarily. But man, how awesome would it be if we have a reroll available for the boss and then we get Guppy's Paw? We could have like 50 Spirit Hearts and the run would basically be sorted at that point. Um, so maybe we'll only do one reroll here just to keep ourselves reasonably safe and then we could have a reroll available for the deal with the devil. Uh, what is it we're rerolling now? Either of these works, right? Or did we pick up something here? We did pick up something there. It was Harlequin Baby. Okay, I gotcha. Uh, sorry, we already re-rolled the game, kid, so that is kind of moots. Uh, well, at this point, uh, I'm not really that interested, actually, in taking this item. So, we'll get one more try here. And again, I apologize for this being the longest floor uh, in the history of forever, but uh, there's a lot of really good possible opportunities for us. And I can't stress enough, if we end up getting uh, the... Like, the music has just stopped. It's just like, you've been on this floor too long. But if we end up getting... Uh, the Guppy's Paw Drop, it, it's just an enormous get for us, basically. And you know, this thing could still pay out with an HP upgrade pretty easily. So we want to have a reroll available for the boss. Uh, the way that we're going to do that is by earning a half red heart anywhere, probably just by blowing up um, some stuff in the arcade. Might want to play it for a little while just to be sure, but... Uh this will allow us the possibility to get another reroll on the deal with the devil because it does. Uh, oh, the D6 normally charges in three rooms, so if we are at half health we, or at half charge, we would need one more room. So hopefully you're understanding, you're following where I'm coming from here. Halo of Flies, fantastic series of orbitals to pick up. And I would say this has all turned out for the best. The one negative, of course is the fact that we have uh, some serious problems with our Red Heart availability right now. That'll change as time goes on, I have faith, but uh, we should definitely take the opportunity to come down here. I mean, it's not even the worst negative, because it does give us a huge amount of permanent Polaroid invincibility, but I, I digress, that's not that important. Um, is there another blood bank down there? I don't even want to consider the possibility of that. So, we're at 99 cents, but we, we've been on this floor for far too long. The extra red hearts we get are fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, we may... Ah, fuck that slot machine. It's not worth it. Um, okay, so we're going to play this twice. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, we're... Well, now I can go to the curse room, sacrifice a spirit heart or so, 
Um, I'm not going to teleport out just in case we get Iamir Room. We'll sacrifice a Spirit Heart, but this will give us the, the reroll. Oh, it's actually going to just basically give us the reroll for free. Beautiful. Okay, this floor ended up turning out fantastic. Uh, we got three HP upgrades, Harlequin Baby, bunch of speed upgrades, quad shots. Um, very, very good things. Let's just put it that way. We also still have all of our existing uh, advantages. The Pact, Poison Damage, Rainbow Baby. I'm... <laughs> That's maybe the most I've ever broken the game, which says more about how little I break the game than it does about how crazy that was, but uh, certainly a situation that ended up working out for the best for us. And you know what? I will take the tears upgrade and the spirit hearts here. We didn't earn a deal with the devil. I should have known that uh, you can't, actually, unless you leave. But now we can actually teleport out. And do we have the final opportunity, maybe, uh, to... Oh, man, I could have taken Bloody Penny as well, and that would have given us so many more Blood Bank plays. It turns out not to have not mattered, but uh, by teleporting out, I now have the opportunity to possibly earn another deal with the Devil. And if we pick up a Mom's Knife or something at this point, or even a Spirit of the Night, my God, we will be way, way, way too powerful. No deal with the Devil. That's fine. Uh, down to the next floor. Very strong. Um, that floor took forever, and I apologize for that. We'll wait for our pink glitch here. Hopefully the game does not crash. And we'll see uh, if we get something of beauty at some... Hey, there we go. Womb XL. Uh, so this is good if we find our boss room right away, especially. Not going to use a key. I forgot I can't fly. Not going to use a key just yet. Because um, I, I want to save these for the chest. You never know what kind of magical items we can get there. Especially with a, a nun's habit. If I still have my reroll at that point. We'll have some crazy stuff going on. Now, I cannot... Um, get a deal with the devil at this point. So, in terms of damage items, until the chest, we're sorted. That's fine. Um, we're not one-shotting enemies, but we're damn near close, uh, for the most part, at least. Poison damage? Work with me? Uh, we're, yeah, we're damn near close, and our crowd control is really nice as well. Probably not gonna mess around in that arcade. If we get uh, an attack fly here, that would be excellent. I wouldn't even reroll it. I love the attack fly as an item. Uh, mostly I'm just gonna back it up. I worry about crowd control on this floor a little bit, but as long as I continue firing just like an intense barrage of shots in... Oh, I was gonna say it should be tough for them to get in here, but that clearly was not the case. This is double envy, so... Uh, I'm probably gonna take some damage here. Well, I mean, I already have, but I'm probably gonna take a lot more, actually. Uh, look at that. I mean, look at the screen right now. It's still chock full of assholes. And we want to kill the blue ones last. That's pretty much unavoidable at this point, just because there are so many blue ones. Uh, oh, that's, that's, we've taken like two spirit hearts with the damage. And now things are starting to erode a little bit. That's okay, though. There's our attack fly. Not even going to reroll it. Probably could have to get like some serious opportunities to get a much better item. But hey, I like attack fly. I want to show my gratitude for picking it up in the past. Might not be the greatest uh, item for us, but that's all right. In fact, now that I think about it, I'm like, it's really stupid not to re-roll it. Because we would have the opportunity to pick up maybe, you know, a mom's knife or something like that. Ideally, I guess. Um, obviously we want to mess around with his judgment. Just want to avoid blowing him up, if possible. Nope, that'll do. <laughs> well, we got another key for it, at the very least. That was just bad bomb placement, but I didn't know. I guess you had to place it on the spikes. And I was concerned about the, the possibility of doing that. If only I had Mom's Purse, because if we could take Bloody Penny at the same time as the Polaroid, that would be fantastic. We are cutting these enemies apart, though. So I'm, I'm pleased about that. Uh, remember that show, Mad About You? It's like that, but with pleased about that instead. Um, there are some free uh, Blood Bank plays just kind of lying around. And by that, I mean there are some Red Hearts just kind of lying around. But I would rather save those for health. It's going to be an interesting floor for us. You never know if things are going to turn out. Uh, positively or negatively. We have one more item left to drop. That's something. I, I do want to find these boss rooms as soon as possible, but historically I'm pretty bad about doing that. Uh, you remember that show, Mad About You? It's like that, but bad about that. Um, we don't have Spectral Tears anymore. Poison damage should kill this dude, right? Not quite. Alright. One more. There we go. Um, Alright, there's another way down. Should have taken the PhD. Do we know what this is? Well, we do now. It's Balls of Steel. So I'm very pleased about that, of course. Remember that show, Mad at... Okay, I'm not going to do that anymore. I would have said glad about you if I was going to try that anyway. Um, okay, the Empress card. That is something we will save for either the Cathedral or the Chest if we're uh, in a lucky enough position and not have to worry about damage when we go into the Cathedral. We'll see how that works out for us. That could be a Devil uh, or Joker card, which would be to say deal with the Devil. Two of Clubs. We'll just take it, double our bomb straight away. Make the Mom's Heart fight a little bit easier. This could be our um, direction we're supposed to go in order to get to the, the boss trap room. I'm sorry, the, just the boss room. No, no trap necessary. I want to be there. I'm trapping him. 
Uh, it's not, though, so ignore everything that I just said. As if you, you probably wish you could. And, you know, it's been a pretty quick floor so far, especially in comparison to the Depths XL, where I spent like 20 minutes. Anything seems like a quick floor in comparison to that. And, okay. Thought I was gonna take some damage there. Luckily not. So, two more bombs. And, yeah, we'll use one bomb to open the chest, because more keys could allow us to open those golden chests. Uh, and money, not really that valuable, obviously, at this advanced nature of a point of the game. Or advanced state of the game. Uh, we're, um, we're not unkillable. That's something I want to stress. If I had taken the nail at this point, we might be unkillable. But we would have also missed out on all those reroll opportunities on the, the last floor. So, uh, you know, there's positives and negatives. Now, we might become unkillable if we get a really good item from... Uh, the boss. We're, we're nigh unkillable, I think. It all depends if we encounter like a really bad run of enemies. And I also play badly. It can still go to two Empress cards. So I guess we'll use one on whatever boss we fight first. Or or second, actually. We could use it on the Mom's Heart boss fight without any uh, without any problem. Um, so I, I, I hesitate to be cocky, but by the same token, we're in a very good spot right now. And a lot of it for once, you know, luck definitely played a role. It always does. Uh, but for once, a big part of it is also uh, my own kind of tactical wherewithal for once. For once, for once, for once. Anyway, let's fight our boss here. It's gonna be Skolex. You know, I'm not even... Here's how much... How little respect I have for Skolex. I'm not even going to use uh, my... Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> well, that's what I get. I'm not even gonna use my Empress card, though. Because the pain of walking back is more... Oh, we're definitely rerolling that, yeah. The pain of walking back is more than the benefit of using the Empress card for that boss fight, so... Um, we will instead... I guess I could use the Empress card for this mom boss fight now if I wanted to, but again, it's not necessary. It's it's not worth it at all. I would rather just save the, the, the Empress card and use it on the uh, Cathedral or the chest. No real negatives there, I would say. And it's going to be kind of a long mom's heart fight, just because it's it's very difficult for me to get bombs in there, because my shots have such n powerful knockback uh, that it's kind of a, a rough road. But whenever mom uh, or mom's uh, heart just kind of stands around for a little while, we are able to do a, a pretty significant amount of damage by way of damage over time, as well as, uh, of course, just the fact that we have a few damage upgrades, which kind of get glossed over when you have so many amazing items like you do. Anyway... Uh, that's gonna be the end of that. We are gonna go up to the cathedral and uh, thus begin the next stage of our adventure. Obviously, we're gonna look for the boss fight as soon as is humanly possible. The fact that we're gonna be able to take these guys out in only a handful of hits is very, very nice. Because otherwise, they are pure assholes. Beautiful. And Attack Fly, doing work. That's why I picked you up, Attack Fly. Don't make me regret it. We are now down entirely to Red Hearts. Concerning, but not drastically so. There is another free second secret room for us. We haven't gotten a second secret room yet so far. Lots of free secret rooms, but uh, that's the first time we've ever had the opportunity to just get uh, potentially maybe an eternal heart. And there's a reroll pedestal here. Okay, so forget that for now. Reroll pedestal. Spider butt. Not that excited about it, but it's nice. Uh, this actually gives us an incentive to examine the entire floor because you never know what amazing item we could potentially pick up as a result of this uh, reroll pedestal here. So, We'll start making good things happen. Might try to abuse all of our advantages at one of these blood banks if we're about to fight the boss uh, and we have some red hearts kind of available. You never know how that's going to work out for you. That was really bad damage on my part, but it's going to allow us to get to a, a reroll a little bit quicker. Uh, much quicker, in fact. And we'll see if we get uh, done with this right now. Ideally, please, yes. Okay. You know what? Let's blow up this blood bank to see if we get more hearts. Just to see where we stand. Wow, substantially more money than I could ever use in the rest of this run. We will uh, pick up this red heart and reroll this again. Ten extra bombs, not worth it in this situation. Not a bad item. I love passives, but uh, sadly it's not going to work out for us as much as I might like. Now, if we were earlier in the game, I would probably take it. But uh, in our advanced state, again, things change a little bit. Just want to make sure... You know, by way of a uh, quad shot, we can really do damage without exactly hitting an enemy, which is nice. Um, let's see what we get here. I was hoping for small rock, but two spirit hearts is a nice pickup as well. Maybe even more valuable. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. And this could still be the way to the boss room. It's looking a little doubtful, though. We're coming close to the end, which I guess is where you have to find the boss room. So maybe, again, I don't know what I'm talking about. Just ignore me. 
Uh, as you often do, probably. Anyway, this is the end of this area, so we are gonna go back and use our reroll after this. Whether we take damage or not, we will get another charge. And that'll be nice. This should be, uh, we could get a reroll on this guy as well, but it's kind of unlikely. Yeah. Or, I mean, we'll get a, we'll get the reroll charge, but I was thinking that may, it might be possible for us to, uh, get, uh, no, he, he only drops cube of meat when you, never mind, I thought he was sloth. I got him confused with sloth for a minute, who we already fought, so that's just me being a big ding dong. Uh, we'll come down here and reroll this again. That is poison touch, which we'll take. It's not the best. Again, it's kind of an attack fly situation, but every time I get hit on Isaac, or Blue Bear, or anything for the rest of the game, uh, I have the speed necessary to kind of get in their faces and, and make good use of this Poison Touch. Also, they'll get hit by the orbitals, they'll get hit by the attack fly. There's a, a lot of interesting kind of implications of, of picking up this Poison Touch. Positively and negatively. Negatively because we could have kept re-rolling forever and maybe gotten a, a better item. But, I, I'm pleased with it regardless. Uh, let's move on to what I assume is the boss fight area here. And uh, it's nice to be able to hit these guys from afar. Part of that is due to the speedball that we picked up earlier. I should probably trade a bomb for a key, but at this point I don't think it matters. I don't think we're going to come, come across six golden chests. It's a possibility, I suppose. There's our boss room. <laughs> that was really scary. I, I didn't realize until it was too late that I couldn't dodge further down. Uh, but it ended up being okay. It ended up working out totally fine for us. Now, here's what you do. You play the Blood Bank once just to see if you maybe get incredibly lucky. And then you pick up the Half Heart, which means you get the permanent Polaroid Invincibility chance. And you know what? Not going to use the... Oh, that's bad damage. And I, I kind of got knocked back before I could hit him with the Polaroid Invincibility. Um, or, sorry, with the Poison Touch. Um, not going to use the Empress card here. Going to save it and hopefully uh, make better use of it on the uh, Blue Baby fight. But this might be a bad idea. We shall see. Uh, the fight's not going as quickly as I'd anticipated is the, the main problem here. Remember, we still have that one period of Polaroid Invincibility waiting for us at the end of this fight, which is a, a key moment. And now I'm like, oh man, if we can just get like a Guppy's Paw or something. <laughs> a Guppy's Paw would guarantee us the victory, mostly due to the, the Polaroid Invincibility and the sheer amount of health we'd have. But we, we didn't get an opportunity to get Guppy's Paw. In fact, we only encountered one or two deals with the Devil in general, so... Oh, there's more damage, and we'll run up and do some. Okay, so that the second phase of this fight went much better than the first phase. No question about it. Did you get... Uh, like, that's the problem with my bombs. I try to use those to do some crowd control, but they just fly across the map if I hit them once. All right, that's bad damage again. Um, we're almost done here, though. And uh, there's not really any health for me to pick up on this floor. There's some blood banks I could explode, but... I uh, kind of just want to go down to the chest and, and end this. That bomb should do it. Ah, it put us close anyway. Poison damage maybe will do it. Okay, so there's a half heart for us. Which honestly is not really worth picking up. Because I still want to maintain that possibility of Polaroid invincibility. Now, here's the moment of truth. One of many moments of truth, because we have a ton of reroll possibilities. I kind of hate all of these, so I'm going to use my first reroll to reroll all of them. Only one I would really want, chocolate milk, but that's going to cause me to... It's going to cause all sorts of neurological problems with me. We'll take Peeper's Eye. Everything else uh, is, is re-rollable. And remember, we are going to presumably get some re-rolls. You might not get a ton, but uh, we'll, we'll get enough to, to make something happen. Can't believe I didn't get hit there to a certain extent. Um, and every time we get hit, it's another one uh, half re-roll. So that's, that's something. It, it's not insignificant, that's for sure. And I'm hoping that, you know, we'll get that one item. You know which one I'm talking about. Mom's Knife at this point. Uh, that will that will carry us over the edge. That's another key. That doesn't really do anything for us at this point. Uh, remember when I said we're not unkillable? This is the the proof of that right here. We are we finding ourselves in a, a very bad position, and a full health pill is pretty much the only thing that could save me here. Or amazing items uh, from this reroll. Good, we're fast enough to get through there. Those are all bad. I don't want any of those. We need to keep getting our charges on our uh, on our D6 here. So we'll uh, try not to die. We'll try to kill, uh, we'll try to kill Lust first, then Sloth, then Gluttony. Oh, God. Because if we kill Gluttony last, we get hearts. And, uh, hearts are essentially reroll fuel at this point. And that's what we need to survive. We're one hit away from death. Oh, that was kind of close. That's good. We got two hearts there. I'm just trying to think about what is, like, the, what's the out for us. We're going to try to kill, uh, Gluttony last again. Same, uh, exact philosophy as the last run. Thank you very much, Gluttony, for your help there. 
What and you know, I'm trying to think of because it's not over yet, but if we die here, what were our outs? What were those times when I, I could have uh won it if I just made a different decision? And I'm kinda sad to say that I think it's sort of if we had taken the the nail, we would be in a much better position. Uh okay. We'll definitely take the rosary. The spirit hearts are gonna be exceptionally important. Now I'm feeling like we have a much better chance, but of course we have still not found the boss room, which is both a positive and a negative. And what do we have here now? Odd mushroom. That's a no-brainer. Everything else will continue to, um, you know, wait on. Odd mushroom is a huge item for us. Our DPS goes through the roof. I, I've either killed Famine or he has disappeared from this mortal coil. Um, yes, but odd mushroom there. One of the best items I probably could have hoped for outside of the, uh, the obvious candidates. Mom's knife. Or, you know, any other damage increase at this point, but Mom's knife especially. Polyphemus would be beautiful as well, of course. Uh, this is an exciting run. It's going to come down to the wire. And uh, thank God I got that D6, because without the D6, Jesus, what, what would we have done? This is another situation where, oh, uh, bad damage, but of course I'm going to be trying to kill Gluttony last. And this has worked out exceptionally well. If we beat this run, beating Gluttony last to encourage those red heart drops is going to get most of the credit in all honesty. Uh, and actually, we got an HP upgrade that also gives us nearly full health, or entirely full health, so we'll definitely take that. And now we come back here and we reroll these other two items. Uh, we get Polyphemus. Okay, Mr. Boom, we're still going to let sit, but everything else, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we may have now basically just won this, and a lot of it was due to good luck, but a lot due to, you know, careful planning. That might not be the right way to put it, but prudent use of, uh, of my resources for once. Really making good use of the D6. There's so much shit going on on the screen right now. I can barely focus on, like, what's mine, what's the enemy's. I mean, the sheer volume of polyphemus bullshit shots that we're shooting out is enormous. Some of the most damage I think I've ever done uh, without actually having a mom's knife. And, you know, we'll kill Gluttony last again. Maybe we can get another HP upgrade. You never know. Uh, we have another reroll available. I don't, well, I, I obviously don't want bombs at this point, and I obviously don't give a shit about money, so we might as well try to kill Gluttony last if it doesn't hurt us too much. More red hearts, those come in handy. I should uh, be going back to reroll Mr. Boom. This is a mistake on my part, but forgive me, I'm excited. It's going really well. Um, we should probably try to kill Pestilence first, like so, and Pestilence will die in like two hits. This is crazy. The fact that I got Polyphemus there is nuts. Like, let's be honest, that's something you can't really bank on for the most part. Um, Get out of the way. And poison damage, I'm hoping. No, oh, okay. Polyphemus damage, maybe. There we go. Okay, so let's pick up our half heart. We want to be at a half heart, so this is good. And between this and the Emperor's card, I think we're in a very good position. But Mr. Boom can still turn into something even better. Unicorn Horn. If we're going up against the boss, yes. I'm okay with Unicorn Horn. If we find the boss straight away, I'll take Unicorn Horn. Horn, I'll be a very happy man. Um, if we don't then uh, that's okay. Because Unicorn Horn does a lot of damage and every, you know, twice, or every two times we get hit, we'll be able to use it again, which will give us another brief period of invincibility. Our permanent Polaroid, or sorry, our, our Poison Touch will do damage, our Orbitals, our Attack Fly, those will all do damage. And uh, this is not our boss room, so we have a little bit more exploration to do. And as always, I apologize for the length of this episode. Uh, it sounds remarkably similar to a sentence I said to your mother last night, but uh, I think we're going to turn this one... I mean, we never really were behind the eight ball here, but we're going to turn it even more around, uh, even when we were uh, on the brink of despair. Largely due to Gluttony. Like, big ups to Gluttony for dropping these HP upgrades and just the hearts in general that have really uh, allowed me to survive and thrive, especially on the chest. We've gotten ten times stronger than we were on the chest, and we were already pretty strong. Odd Mushroom, Polyphemus... Uh, Peeper's Eye. In fact, I almost uh, should have gone back for the reroll again. I, I kind of wish that I had uh, rerolled Peeper's Eye now, even though I consider that to be a solid item. Kind of the po same Poison Touch uh, attack fly scenario where, yeah, we could reroll it if we want to, but why? I like it. So, uh, it might be our last reroll, or close. <laughs> what, what can you say? They want to give me Epic for Fetus in a Jar at this point? Uh, I don't want it. I, I would rather win on the merits of what we've gotten so far. Keep in mind that as strong as this run is, I passed up fetus in a jar or epic fetus earlier uh, already, which is crazy. We, we've had a lot of positives that have worked for us here. And uh, not to toot my own horn, but to my credit as well, I think I did a good job making the run entertaining by avoiding some of those items that uh, would have made things perhaps a little bit too easy. We're going to have one final reroll before the boss, uh, and it's kind of a victory lap at this point, but the amount of health that we have, the fact that we're going to be able to use the Empress card, the damage that we're doing even without using the Empress card, uh, I don't think we can die. So finally, we are going to finish our last reroll here, and this is a, a very successful run that I have had a ton of fun with. 
Let's see what we get. I mean, it's health steal. I'm not even going to pick it up. It's, it's kind of a muted way to, to get the final item here. But apart from that, we are good to go. Polyphemus quad shot, poison damage, odd mushroom. Tons of damage. Empress card. Let's do it! Now, uh, I could still lose this. I mean, it's, it's still a theoretical possibility. Uh, if I have absolutely awful dodging, terrible luck with my orbitals providing some defense, uh, and just general hubris, I think I could find myself in a bad spot. But this is a lot of damage coming out from a non-Brimstone Mom's Knife run. And uh, we are good to go here, basically. And look at how much faster I killed Blue Baby versus killing Isaac. That is how strong we got on the chest. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, Thanks to BizSnap for always telling me to hold on to the D6, and uh, I'd like to thank, you know, God above for inspiring Isaac, my parents for raising me in, in such an impatient way that I have now taken over. Uh, that was a whole lot of fun, and thanks to you guys for watching as well, as well, of course. God damn it, one mistake, and it had to happen in the commentary at the end. Again, as always, thanks for watching.